Ahoy, sailors and landlubbers alike! Have you ever wondered why ships have a red light on the port side and a green light on the starboard side? Sheepdog401 did and asked us the question in the comments. It's not just for decoration. This color system dates back centuries and has saved countless lives at sea. And today, we're diving deep into its fascinating and slightly weird history. Believe it or not, this whole red port green starboard thing wasn't always a thing. In the early days of seafaring, ships had no standardized lights, just lanterns or torches, which let's be honest weren't great for preventing collisions. But as the world's oceans got busier, sailors needed a universal way to tell which way a ship was facing, especially at night. Before we talk colors, let's talk directions. Why do we even call it port and starboard anyway? Back in ye olden days, ships didn't have steering wheels. Instead, sailors used a massive steering oar on the right-hand side of the ship. Most people are right-handed, so this was the most practical place for it. The old English word for steering side? Steerboard, which eventually became starboard. Now if your steering oar is on the right, where do you dock your ship so you don't smash your rudder? On the left side. Originally sailors called this larboard, but because a larboard and starboard sounded way too similar when yelled over crashing waves, they changed it to port in the 19th century. All right, now to the big question. Who decided port is red and starboard is green? Was it just some sailor who liked Christmas colors? Not quite. In the early 19th century, sailors started using colored lanterns to signal their positions at night. But there was no standard system, meaning one ship's safe signal might look like another ship's oh no, we're sinking signal. That's not ideal. In 1848, the British Admiralty issued a new rule, red light on the left or port and green light on the right or starboard. By 1863, international maritime laws made this the official standard worldwide. And thus collisions were mostly avoided and salty sailors everywhere rejoiced. But why red for port and green for starboard? Why not, I don't know, purple and orange? Theory number one, visibility. Red light is easier to see in foggy conditions, which was crucial before modern radar. Green provides a strong contrast to red and white lights. Theory number two, right-of-way rules. If you're approaching another ship and you see a red light, it means stop, you need to give way. If you see a green light, you have the right-of-way. Theory number three, traditional symbolism. Red has been associated with danger or caution for centuries. Green has been linked to safety and permission. Believe it or not, ships influenced aviation too. Airplanes use the exact same system, red light on the left wing, green light on the right, so pilots can tell which way a plane is facing in the dark. Even cars and traffic lights follow the same logic. So next time you're on a boat or even flying on a plane, just remember red means port, green means starboard. It's a simple system that saved lives for over 150 years. If you learned something new today, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss more awesome maritime history. And tell me in the comments, did you already know about this, or did it just blow your nautical mind? Comments, likes, and subscribing cost you nothing, unless you want to buy us a coffee. If you do, you can find the link in our channel description or by visiting buymecoffee.com slash cruise ship. Those that are so kind will get a mention in one of our upcoming videos. Stay legal. Collision free. Stay safe and don't get lost at sea. Until the next time, stay salty, my friends.